Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to go through enabling basic authentication to a Spring Data RESTful service that we have in a Spring Boot application. Now, right here, we actually have the Spring Data REST starter that is going to allow us to get access to our underlying REST repositories and backed by Spring Data. Now, you will notice here as an example, I have commented out Spring Security Starter at this point just to show you what happens when we do not include Spring Security. Now, here we are already started the server and it is listening on port 8080. Now, here we're going to go to localhost 8080 and when we refresh it, we actually get a link that shows that the server's up and running and it is responding with JSON, meaning that our REST repository service is up and running, ready to return information for us out of our repository if we had anything in here. And now let's enable the Spring Security Starter. So now we're gonna actually include Spring Security in with this Spring Boot application. All we're gonna do is restart the app. So this new starter will take effect. And one important thing to note, now we're gonna scroll back up here. It says it started, but if we scroll up into the console logs, what we're gonna see here is a default security password. For right now, this is all automatically generated because we have not defined one. Let us copy this and then we're going to try to log in to our RESTful service. Now, if we try to refresh localhost 8080, we now will get a basic authentication request using a required username and password. Now, the default username is user and the default password is the automatically generated password that we saw in the logs from the spring security starter now we're just going to paste that in this is the password we copied logged in and now we're allowed in now in the event we do not want to use the auto generated password and we also do not want to use the standard username, which is a user, we can change that in our Spring application by opening up application.properties. And all we have to do is change the security.username, right? User.name. Instead of the default username, let's just actually pick, uh, we'll say, we'll call it Mick for now. And if we want to change the password, we'll do security dot user dot password and let's just change it to something we can remember for now we'll call it change me now save that now if we again restart the application one thing we're going to notice in the logs it zoomed by pretty quick but there is no entry for the auto generated password and now let's go back and try to enter in the credentials again. And now let's refresh localhost 8080. We get a dialogue again and our new credentials are Mick was the username and change me was the password. And of course it lets us in again we have successfully authenticated this user. Now, one last item. Let's say that we now have some custom credentials set, but we wanna turn off basic authentication altogether in our configuration. And we can do that within our application.properties. All we have to do is set the security.basic basic dot enabled is equal to false 
Basically, we're going to say by default it's enabled. We want to disable it. Again, we're going to restart this Spring Boot application. And now, even though we do have our security credentials, we will not be prompted for a username and password. And now when we try to revalidate this, we refresh it, we notice we are not prompted for basic security credentials. We're just allowed in because we have successfully disabled basic authentication. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel and see all the latest videos that I have coming out. Thanks a lot.